Hi everyone, welcome once again. Now we understand what Git is. It is time to dig down further and see the internal architecture of Git. First of all, Git has two types of environments. One is local and the other is remote. Local as the name says, it is available locally. That means only you have access to your code. Others cannot access it without going to your system. Now, remote is something that addresses the problem. So it is a shared repository where you can push your stable code from local repository. And you can also pull from remote repository to sync your local repository. Because if you work with a team and your other team members are also pushing to this remote repository, at times you will be also needing to sync your local repository with it. So for that we use pull. Then this local environment is having three stage architecture. It is having working directory, staging area and local repository. So when you are writing some code, you are actually working on the working copy of your local machine. So after making changes, once you are done, you move the changes to the staging. Once you confirm that all the changes that are moved to the staging stage are okay to sync with local repository, you commit those changes with a valid comment that okay, I have made these changes and these are good to go on my local stable part or local stable stage. So your stable build is now updated with your code, but it is not shared with other developers. So for that you need to sync your local repository with remote repository. So first of all, we'll have a look at two commands, get init and get clone. So get init is basically when you want to start a new project, you do not have any kind of source code on your remote repository, but you have a repository created. So the directory is available, but there is no source code and you have a folder created on your local, but it is not in sync with the remote repository. So what you do is you do get in it. So to explain this example, what I'm doing is I'm using GitHub and I'm creating a remote repository by the name init example. Once you create a repository, you see HTTPS and SSH URLs over here. That means you are able to connect through remote repository by these two options. So we copy the HTTPS one. We can also use SSH. So I move on to uh, the directory in my local known as init example. So first of all, I want to initialize it as a git repository. For that, I will go to git bash and I'll move to that directory. So currently we are here. We need to switch to that directory init example. Now we are inside this directory. Now we need to initialize this directory as a git repository. So for that we use git init. We do not see any kind of folder or files here right now, but when I do git init, it says that the repository is now a git repository. And if we have a look at the folder on our local, we can clearly see that there is a folder created with ex with the name dot git and it is a hidden folder. If you open this, you will see a lot of files and folders inside. So it is actually your local git setup. So local working copy staging environment and local repository are not different folders these are all stored in these configuration files only you cannot differentiate them you cannot see them as a physical file but using git or git bash you can access those things now to understand git clone what we are doing is we are creating another project on github and now let's say we name it as clone example, give a description to it. And for clone, we are assuming that there is some source code already available on this remote repository. So we are going to this remote repository and we can see here we have option to add some files. So I click on readme. So this gives me an online editor and I make some changes in the this text file and then I commit the changes with a proper message. So changes are now committed. You can see there is a grid repository 
and it is having the file which we have created and the content is already uh, there so now we need to clone this repository as it is on our local so we go in here this option to get the dot get url https url let us switch to the other folder that we have created for this example and we move here in git bash also so we move to clone example directory and again this is also not a git repository but when we clone it automatically becomes a git repository so git clone space the https url for the project when we hit enter it pull all the code from that remote repository so when you see inside so we have a dot git folder and we have that readme file so that is all about git init and git clone in the next videos we'll see how to move our code from working directory to local repository